स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल लर्न दैट व्हाई ड्यूल स्पार्क प्लग्स और डबल स्पार्क प्लग्स और मल्टी स्पार्क प्लग्स आर यूज्ड इन स्पार्क इग्निशन इंजन वी नो दिस थिंग दैट स्पार्क प्लग इज अ डिवाइस व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर इनिशिएटिंग द बर्निंग ऑफ चार्ज इनसाइड द एसआई इंजन ओके सो टू अंडरस्टैंड वी हैव टू गो थ्रू दिस स्टोरी व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू टेल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स let us refresh that how a four stroke si engine works this is the schematic diagram of a four stroke si engine this is the inlet valve this is the outlet valve this is the spark plug piston connecting rod flywheel crankcase and we those think that the piston reciprocates between the top dead center and the bottom dead center and by the help of the movement of piston the flywheel rotates in corresponding direction the reciprocating motion of piston changes into rotary motion of flywheel okay so the four stroke engine consists of four strokes the first stroke is the suction stroke in suction stroke what happens the inlet valve opens and at the beginning of suction stroke the piston is at tdc okay the inlet valve opens and the piston moves toward the bdc so what happens when piston moves from tdc to bdc actually it sucks the fresh charge inside charge is the mixture of Uh, fuel and air fuel could be gasoline vapor and air like this so when piston moves toward bottom dead center this is the end of suction stroke and ultimately the inlet valve closes the next stroke is the compression stroke in this stroke what happens both the valves remains closed and whatever charge which is sucked inside during the suction stroke is compressed to a smaller volume ultimately at the end of compression what happens a spark is introduced you can see this blue colored spark due to which the entire fuel which is sucked inside burns and next stroke is the working stroke means that burnt charge pushes the piston toward bottom dead center and this work done is transferred to this flywheel so this flywheel is actually acting as a energy reservoir mechanical energy reservoir so whatever work which is supplied by piston to this flywheel the work is absorbed in the flywheel in form of rotational kinetic energy so after the end of working stroke the outlet valve opens you can see the outlet valve has been opened and the burnt charge is expelled out of the cylinder so these are the four strokes of a four stroke si engine suction that is suction of the charge inside the cylinder then there is compression in the compression whatever charge is sucked inside is compressed to a smaller volume ultimately introduction of spark the entire fuel ignites and that ignited fuel the burnt fuel pushes the piston toward the bottom dead center the next stroke is the working stroke and at the end of working stroke the outlet valve opens and the piston pushes all the burnt gases out of the cylinder because work has been done now there is no more requirement of burnt gases inside the cylinder so those are expelled out of the cylinder like this now we have to focus only on the action of combustion inside the cylinder see suppose this is the end of compression stroke this is also a schematic indicative diagram of an engine this is the piston this is the cylinder head this portion is called a cylinder head and over the cylinder head this is the side view in circle i am showing you the side view means from the top in case we are viewing this cylinder head it is like this these are the two valves okay this is the outlet valve and inside the screen there is inlet valve since by the side view only we can be able to see this other valve so this is the outlet valve and this is the inlet valve like this this is a spark plug this is the cylinder head okay now suppose this is the end of compression stroke okay now what happens at the end of compression stroke a spark is introduced so now a spark is introduced in the mixture this is the compressed mixture now what would happen that flame will start developing flame will start developing from the region where the spark has been introduced so this is how the flame is developing and we know this thing that just after compression stroke the next stroke is working stroke so working stroke is executing as well as flame is traveling you can see that uh, piston is moving toward the bottom dead center toward the left hand side as according to diagram and the flame is propagating because flame has initiated from the point of spark now working is executing the flame has been spread to a greater region inside the combustion chamber ultimately at the end of working stroke the entire fuel ignites so this 
must happen inside the cylinder once again spark is introduced flame has initiated working is happening as well as flame is propagating and flame is propagating more ultimately when the working stroke ends then almost entire fuel must catch fire inside the cylinder now suppose an another case in which the piston is moving with very fast speed means the engine rpm the engine speed is very high so piston is moving to and fro with very fast speed and this is the end of compression stroke and a spark is introduced to the mixture and flame has started propagating inside the cylinder okay now after end of compression stroke there is working stroke so this is working stroke is executing over here and flame is traveling ultimately the piston reaches the bottom dead center and the flame has yet to cover up the entire cylinder some amount of unburnt charge is still left the problem is due to since the piston is moving with very fast speed and flame speed is limited okay so the flame doesn't get sufficient amount of time so that it can cover up the entire cylinder so some amount of unburnt gases are still left now we know this thing that after the end of working stroke there is exhaust stroke so what would happen exhaust valve will open and piston will push out whatever the type of gases are inside the cylinder out of the system you can see so what is happening over here that burnt gases as well as unburnt gases are also coming out of the cylinder so what does it means it is a sort of loss because in case the entire charge would have been burnt inside the cylinder then the piston would have got more amount of energy since it is expelling out unburnt gases out of the cylinder so some amount of charge loss is taking place because unburnt charge in case coming out it means what it is a sort of fuel loss secondly less amount of energy is imparted over the piston because entire charge has not been burned inside this is what the problem is in case the piston moves inside the cylinder with very very fast speed in such a fast manner that flame doesn't gets the proper time to cover up the entire vicinity inside the cylinder to burn up the entire fuel inside the cylinder because flame has a limited speed with it now how to solve this problem see this problem could be solved in case instead of one spark plug we are using two spark plugs you can see over the cylinder heads there are two spark plugs mounted now at the end of compression stroke A spark is introduced and flame has started to travel inside the cylinder but now there are two fl uh, flames since two flames are propagating from opposite sides so the length of travel to burn the entire fuel inside the cylinder is now halved almost half you can see so what would happen since from two sides flames are propagating so the length for travel of flame is reduced you can see is significantly reduced so in such case this is the end of working stroke and entire fuel the chances of burning of entire fuel is increase so you can see by using of two spark plugs what is happening since the fl flames are propagating from opposite directions so lesser amount of length the flame has to travel to cover up the entire cylinder so in short duration of time the entire fuel can burn so in such case even though the piston is moving with very fast speed yet the entire fuel can be burned easily and ultimately in the exhaust stroke less amount of unburned gases comes out of the cylinder this is what the beauty of using two spark plugs or even more than two that is multi spark plugs in some cylinders there are three spark plugs are also fitted nowadays there are some side types of engines available in market okay so in short what we have learned the dual spark plugs or multi spark plugs in si engines are used when in case the engine cylinder volume is significantly large in case the volume of cylinder is very very big in that case flame has to move to greater distance compared to that of in case cylinder is small in case cylinder is large the flame has to travel to greater length in that case it needs dual spark plugs or multi spark plugs to burn the entire fuel inside the cylinder second case is engine is running with very high speed this is also the cause of inhibiting the entire charge to burn inside the cylinder the reason is that piston reaches the bottom dead center with very high speed and the flame speed is limited 
So what happens? The entire amount of charge which is contained in, inside the cylinder doesn't burns properly, and in the exhaust stroke, the ch burnt charge as well as unburnt charge is expelled out of the cylinder by the piston. Third reason is both. In case the cylinder is very big in size as well as the engine runs with very high speed. If both the cases are there with an engine, then we have to definitely use dual spark plugs or multi spark plugs in case we want to run the engine efficiently and we want to save the fuel because in case unburnt charges are coming out of the cylinder then it is a sort of fuel loss. So hope you would have understood that why dual spark plugs, double spark plugs or multi spark plug system is used with an SI engine. Thank you.